Last month, we did around $4 million in trackable revenue for the clothing brands in our agency side of the business. And we only work with about 10 brands max. Currently, we're at about eight. If you wanna be that person, let me know. But in our OSO program, our optimized store program for clothing brands trying to reach their first million dollars, people just starting out, our members generated over another $3.5 million last month alone. Now, I bring all this up because this revenue was generated on Meta for these brands through the things that we are teaching there and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So this video I'm going to show you the actual steps you need to take full advantage of Facebook ads today, how this will work for your clothing brand and how to spend less time in ads manager than you ever have while making the most amount of money. And yes, I will share absolutely everything with you. So this ad hack is one for both beginners and those who are more advanced and it's going to allow you to stop spending hours inside of ads manager every single week. So let me show you the basics of this setup real quick so you can see for yourself and then I'll explain why everything will require less effort. Okay so let's go over to ads manager here. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to assume that you have gotten to your commerce manager. If you went to business.facebook.com you got all of that squared away. There was a common way to run ads a long time ago and I was part of that as well. I drank the Kool-Aid and I think honestly for the most part it worked that way because that's just the way that the Facebook algorithm worked. However, turns out that if you want to feed a coal train, if you give it more coal it will go faster. Same thing if you want to feed a data machine, if you give it more data it will get you more efficient results. If you give it the right answers. The setup is honestly probably about 30% of the results. The other 70% has to do with something that I'll talk about here in a little bit. But the campaign setup, very simple. All we're going to do, and you're gonna ignore all of this, I know there's a bunch of flashy buttons to touch and whatever else, and whether you're advanced or just starting out, don't get distracted by, ooh, let me touch this button and try these things. I get you. Sometimes it's fun to touch stuff. Anybody else one of those kids where your parents said stop touching stuff throughout the, the store? Yeah, it wasn't me either. So you go ahead and hit sales down here because we're going for sales, ironically enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop being jargony here and I'll be very clear with you because I think clearness makes sense, but clarity is the word I'm looking for. So Advantage Plus shopping campaign, love them. Don't wanna start with that though unless you've already had a ton of results. And when I say a ton, I mean like really good results, okay? Because we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but basically a manual sales campaign I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. This means you control everything. Label this however you would like. The campaign I'm gonna teach and build for you today is a top of the funnel campaign. We're going after a new cold audience. I do not wanna hit people who have already engaged with my brand because I'm gonna do that with email and SMS. Doesn't mean ads can't and there will be some overlap, but label this as your top of the funnel. You can do a bit branding top of the funnel, however you want to do it, your audience, etc. There is no special category for so the people we're going after, which are clothing brands, meaning like you guys. I'm going to turn on Advantage Plus campaign. So this means the budget is distributed across different ad sets. So it goes campaign, ad sets, then ads. Our daily budget, you can start anywhere from, yeah, $30 to $50, 100 1000 2000 5000 $10,000, does not matter. If you have not figured out your audience, you do not have anything going well organically. I would start at a smaller budget. I honestly would. Even if you had the money, I don't want you to waste it. I mean, if you'd like to, I'll send you over our mailing address. You can buy me something nice, but don't just throw money to throw money. Let's actually test it and get results before we scale up. Don't worry, you can scale up fast. So website and shop is a default. We go with website. And the reason why is it's giving us better results as of this moment. Website and shop still works. And we do have clients who do really well with website and shop. You can test it, but website still does what we want and it's like 95% of it, 98% of it. And I'd rather just check out on our website because I want that data. I'm cool with Facebook shop getting it, they're fine, but I'd rather have money for our own brands. Um, and what I mean by that is like, we have own data and rented data. Facebook can give us that data and it's rented. Website traffic for us, we actually own that data. So website first, the ad set is gonna be broad and you can label it too. So this may be females, 25 to let's just say 64 living in the USA scroll down here want to select our pixel conversion event we are going for purchase always going for purchase just so you know dynamic creative turn that on make sure you read this you can pause the video read it um, it'll tell you exactly what it is and we'll talk about it here in a second but basically it's gonna create multiple ads without you having to spend a bunch of money trying to launch 12 different ads. You can launch 12 different ads in one ad. Pretty cool stuff. So dynamic creative, 
It's gonna start on May 6th, that's my birthday. I'm gonna timestamp this. You can, you can adjust your audience controls here in a second, but minimum age 18, you can switch the original audience option. Facebook's basically gonna, or Meta's gonna basically like choose your audience for you. I'm, I'm not doing that. I would like to just tell them, I'm like, I already know the answer. It is gonna be that 25 to 64. Basically, they were, we were going broad and they were like, let's go really broad. Okay, so this cuts us down. If you haven't watched our previous video on like the Facebook ad, like winning formula, meaning like who you're actually, uh, your audience is. I'll talk about that here in a second. I'll, I'll show you where that video is at. But right now, let's get this set up. Don't go super broad though, please don't. Facebook page, manual upload. You'll be able to set up your images. You can select several images here. I'm just going to pick three images that are very similar. And then you can come up with primary text and headlines. And we'll come back to this video um, part of things here in a second. If you want our ads launch checklist, we literally have a document that walks you through everything you need to do when you launch your actual ads. Just comment the word checklist in the comments section down below and I will send that over to you. It's absolutely free. Just use it. Um, it'll help you kind of get a framework before you actually launch your ads. You're changing out your ads way too much and this is causing Meta to be confused on who to run the ads to. It's not gonna find the right people. Now I'll give you one hack right now and that's the first and foremost, 99% of the time, the first thing you should always check is your creative. Is your creative not good? And you can look at some results and some stats, we'll talk about that here in a second, of metrics you should be within. But if your stats are not good, it's likely that. And before we get into anything else, I'll show you what that looks like. So let's um, let's step back here. All right, so link click through rate, I'm looking for anything above 1%. These are good here. Cost per click, don't really care about. Um, honestly, I don't care about any number except for these purchases here. This frequency, actually kind of high. I want that to be lower. I mean, we're reaching 58,000 people. We could be doing a lot more. You gotta understand that this frequency is like three and a 3.8. However, there's 12 different ads inside of here and we're switching them out. So the frequency is actually pretty low. We're just reaching the same 58,000 people multiple times and they're actually purchasing, okay? So I'll take these purchases every single day. The other thing that I would wanna look at is what's the cost per milli or what's the cost per 1,000 impressions? So cost per 1,000 impressions, I wanna be anywhere between that 15, 18 to 25, 26. We're well below that, we're at $22 and that's it. Outside of those, I really do not care anything else. I wanna make sure the click-through rate is good. Is the ad resonating with somebody? Is it costing me a low amount of money to get in front of people? Sure, and am I getting purchases? And if I'm not, reverse engineer that. And a lot of times, honestly, it's your creative or your website. It has nothing to do with the setup part of things, which we'll hit on that here in a sec. Also, before we get into this next part here, I just wanna say, howdy, I'm Aaron. I'm one of the co-founders here at BitBrainy, and we've generated over $120 million in revenue for clothing brand owners, just like you. We've served hundreds of brands from over 70 different countries around the world. And if you're a clothing brand owner, I'd appreciate it if you just give this a like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date. We drop new content for you every single week and have been doing so for years at this point. We have not missed our two videos that drop every single week. So please, like and subscribe to this video all right now back to your regularly scheduled content honestly we all build bad ads our very first clothing brand client had the worst photography did not communicate well and expected us to figure out how to grow their brand now happy ending we are still with this person they figured out a few of these things they still honestly just text us mostly about sports and do not give us the content we need on the time on time but we're making them money so there are a few things you need to get right when running ads to make them successful market fit if you do not know who your audience is, I promise you, most people say they know their audience like seven, eight, nine. They're mostly at like a three or four. We have a full document on how to figure out your struggling avatar. If you want that, you can comment the word avatar. I don't, we don't have the time in this video to go down into the weeds with it, but you gotta know your audience. Second thing is we gotta have high profit margins. I want an AOV of $75. I want your margins to be like 70%, so 30% or so. You gotta have that low, because you got fixed costs as well. I'll tell you a sad story so you don't run into it, okay? So there was a brand that started working with us about two or three years ago, and then May of last year, they fired us because they didn't have enough margins, and they were like, it's you guys, the ads aren't working, etc." And we're like, well, I mean, we just did $350,000 last month. Your cost of goods are like literally 30% like, actual cost you're like all these numbers make sense but their fixed costs it was just all thrown together their salaries all that stuff and so they lost money they came back to us in november so don't worry they came back and they are still running into the same issue we are at the I mean at this point last month we did like thirty five thousand dollars in just gross profit off of email and sms so doing really well but their net profit they are struggling 
because their fixed costs are so high. They're trying to pay themselves too much and they don't understand their numbers well enough to know why the business isn't working. I mean, you cannot tell me you're doing 300,000 plus dollars per month if you and you don't know your numbers, it's just not going to work. So please make sure you got profit margin. I want that average order value, like I said, to be a $75 minimum and your messaging, right? Do not speak to everyone. Find one person. It's like you guys here, right? You may be another e-commerce brand owner. That's fine. You could be accessories, shoes, whatever. It could be anybody trying to figure out Facebook ads. But for the most part, we're talking to clothing brand owners, boutiques, private label, starting your own line, whatever it is, we're talking to you guys for a reason. And our messaging is very specific to that. We're not trying to serve everybody, okay? We can build websites for a ton of e-commerce brands. We do all those things, but we truly do serve only clothing brands. You also have to have an amazing offer, especially if you're just starting out. If you do not have a good offer, why would I try you over somebody else? So I saw another clothing brand the other day. They're like, their shorts cost just as much as cuts. I know cuts, there's brand there, but there was no offer, there's no free shipping, nothing. I'm like, I'm not gonna try you, I'm just gonna go buy from cuts. Create an amazing offer, it doesn't have to be a discount, but give me something. I don't know, it's always a what's in it for me. The thing to help you with this though is social proof. Do you have reviews? Do you have people testimonials? Do you have UGC? And then you have the most important number of all. In e-commerce, the only number, in my opinion, that matters is net profit and lifetime value. That means how much is the customer actually worth to me? Can I make five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars off of this person? Or is it a hundred dollars and I'm gonna be penny pinching every single month because I don't have enough profit margin, okay? You can stop your brand from the very beginning if you just don't have the margins and you don't understand lifetime value, you just stop right there till you fix those things. Do not move forward and spend money on Facebook ads. Like, don't get me wrong, lifetime value, is the most important number here. It is the only number, honestly, right? Without lifetime value, you don't really even have net profit. So make sure to take that in consideration. And this phrase I say a lot in our videos is those who can spend the most to acquire customer or the customer will always win. If you can spend more than the other person and you know LTV or lifetime value, you will win. Okay, I'd like to show you some ads that are doing really well right now and why. But first, hold up just one second. I wanna say that if you are a clothing brand owner, which I hope that you are, and wanna jump into the specifics of your brand, I hope you do, and how to do it and grow up profitably online, you can schedule a free 45 minute strategy session with us for free. There are absolutely limited spots as we are giving something away for free. You can imagine that our calendars are booked from that. But if you wanna do that for your brand, go take action right now. Click the link in the description down below. Okay, so let's jump into Ads Manager. I'll show you some things that are actually working right now, what you need to do to make them successful and why they're successful, but also how to keep running it as long as possible. Let's go over here to Ads Manager first. So I showed you one account. This is a conversion campaign, it's a sales campaign, just as we had built earlier. It's been running since August, September of 2023, so a long period of time. This month we've reached 277,000 people, or sorry, that's impressions. Reach is actually 58,000, and getting cost per purchase is around 20 bucks. We're making about a 5X return on our spend, so we're profitable there. Cost of goods are around 30%. Our margins are about 70% of profit, gross profit from there. What's working here? It's a DCT, it's set up very nicely. Why is it working really well? Because we have new arrivals running, so it's long-term. And very specifically, we have top of the funnel type of copy. So welcoming the people to who this brand is. It is asking and talking to these people as if they have never met them before and they're just cute clothes. Um, I think that's also too, right? We gotta have that, that's gotta be part of the Venn diagram. All right, let's go over to this other brand here and I wanna share a couple of things for you guys as well. So we are doing an Advantage Plus carousel for this um, campaign for this brand. What's working well here, uh, we're reaching people with ads that very simply put are products to easily scroll through. Now, why is it working? Because we've gotten results before and Advantage Plus is very easy to get results when you have already had them previously. So it goes off of what's called implicit and explicit data. Implicit meaning people who have interacted with the brand know who you are likely to convert. Explicit people who don't know who you are not likely to, to convert. So what Facebook does is it finds all the people implicit, gets that data, and then finds very good audiences just like them. Essentially it's doing a lookalike audience that we want to avoid on its own automatically. And so this looks very simple. It's literally a catalog of the products you can scroll through. You can also add badges telling people that there's low stock of something. Our copy is very specific to people, right? Which is who are we, who this is for, what you can use it for, and then moving forward. So the product set is all basically all new arrivals. So at this point it's like spring slash summer new arrivals. All right, and this other campaign, 
I want to pull this up as well. So this one is getting very good cost per purchase. So what's working here? Frequency is crazy high for this brand, but it is mostly from our warm audience sitting in a very small budget per day. Basically anything that's been running live. So if you're familiar with Comment Solid, it's a great way to increase the lifetime value of your customer. We run some ads back to them. We do no longer do app downloads, but we do run ads back to the people who watch the lives because they know the brand to get increased purchases. We're getting it from about four bucks. I'll do that every single day. Same thing for this bottom of the funnel, middle of the funnel. We do not suggest this route. However, this campaign and this, this account has been running for so long that we're just like, let's just, we'll, we'll do that for this $80 a day. Most of our budget is actually going to the scaling campaign. It's new arrivals. This has been something that we have done a lot, as you can see here. We have been scrolling and there's about 23, 24 different new arrivals. Frequency, pretty dang good here. Very simple. What are the ads? Again, long copy. Who is, who is the boutique? Who are we going after? Variations of that done inside of a DCT, which I'll show you here in a second. Pink background, all the same just different colored dresses, that's it. That's the only thing different. The only problem with theirs, is we gotta switch it out a lot because they don't buy deep. Please buy deep. Now when you're thinking about buying deep or things that work here, right, you gotta look at the tier system, right? So the first one's leading with fabric, meaning like denim or graphic tees, graphic sweaters, whatever, so you can run it for a long period of time. The second one are events slash season. So wedding season, season like spring, summer, etc. And then the third tier is holiday or a promotion. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, etc. Those ones aren't gonna run for very long. And so it's not a great idea to run ads where you have to get results within three or four days and then you have to turn it off and then start over again. Don't do that. Don't get into the promotion set yet. And buy deep. Stop buying wide, buy deep. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you it will change the game for your business. Okay, so one last hack here. A lot of people think this is gimmicky. Buy the Meta Verified. The reason why it's like 10, 15 bucks a month, but the reason you wanna do it is you have a dedicated support person and you also are gonna get more responses to your DMs because people already psychologically, even if you've bought it, they already perceive you to be a higher quality and not less fake. They have to verify you, so it's not gonna be spammy. But you get a dedicated person to help you with your ad account being disabled or ads issue or anything like that. So it's worth the 10 to 15 bucks. Go ahead and do that now. And one last thing, let's look over here at Ads Manager and I'll show you um, the final build out here for this account. So the DCT, like I said, these new jeans, we're gonna come up with three to three by two by two. So two primary texts. So by today, looking for a great deal. Okay, and what it's gonna do is we can add two of these options. So you can add a primary text to headlines. Make sure that you have, if you have app events, turn that on. Offline events, it's kind of going away. Make sure that you put your triple well UTM here or whichever you are using to track this server side data. Okay, then you should be good to go. But then there's also some variations with AI. You can use them if you'd like. I don't know, it's up to you. Multiple advertisers, I do recommend that as well. Right, so just make sure that your boxes are checked and you would hit publish. Make sure the preview is also good as well. This is giving us a Facebook message, so normally I would just like reload um, to do this part of it. Now you know how to run ads for your clothing brand and the hacks more specifically about what to make this brand and these ads actually work, the people, the things that people don't really necessarily talk about. But this setup is very, very simple and it's simple for a reason. You gotta do what Facebook wants you to do. Stop spending all of your time in ads manager. The only thing I'm gonna change out is creative. If you're spending $100 a day, you'll maybe change out creative every 10 days or so, unless it's not doing well. But for the most part, you can leave that creative there. That's the only thing you're gonna change. You're gonna spend maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours max inside of ads manager per week. If you're spending more than that, stop. Go back to the basics here. That's the important part. But now that you know how to do that, the next thing you need to do is create a million dollar framework on how to increase profit and the longevity of your brand. I got that video for you right here next. All right, y'all, have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time. And P.S., please make sure you subscribe.